Good. Camera's good. All right, questions for Tyler? How do you think you did? Yeah, I'd say individually it was okay. Um, kind of reflected Ronald, um, kind of on our side, offensively, defensively. I thought we were, we were solid uh, defensively. Obviously, we're trying to eliminate their space with their wingers, um, Exigne and Brennan Deshi. Um, I thought we did all right at that. And then attacking-wise, we just couldn't get much going. Um, Ronald, we couldn't get Ronald higher overlapping. Um, I think we... We need to work on kind of switching the point of attack quicker, and once we break lines, we need to play a little quicker. So, um, yeah. Gonzalo talked about after the game that, for whatever reason, it didn't seem like they could get you activated a whole lot going forward. Everything seemed to flow to the right. Was that how Toronto was, was trying to forcing things that way, or is it just how it went in the game? Yeah, um, Toronto, they were very aggressive. Uh, they played man-to-man. Um, very strong in the first half, so it was it was tough. It was something different that we've seen today. And um, you know, going back over uh, video, we look back at it. Um, there's a few different ways we can break it, break a, a team who plays like that next time. So yeah, it was a tough opponent. They they were organized. So hopefully we have more ideas uh, going forward. Is it when the ball seems to be flowing to the to the right most of the time. Is there anything individually you can do to try to get more active? Yeah, I mean, it's tough on the other side. I'd say just try to, you know, more runs behind or speak with the midfielders, try gotcha. and shift, shift uh, the ball towards me. We like to start on one side, finish on the other. So yeah. I think we were maybe just getting stuck on the right side. Um, just couldn't progress the ball to right. the other side as much, but yeah. And part of that was, I guess, their aggressiveness in closing down, just yeah. not giving people time to hit that yeah. long switch. Yeah. How cold was it? it now was, that you've had time to think about yeah, it. It was, it was <laughs> cold. The wind, the wind plays a whole different factor. Um, a little bit of ice on the ball, so you know, not to make excuses, but it was tough. Um, I tried to, tried to go strong with no gloves. Uh, first half, had to go in. Second half, put some <laughs> gloves on, for sure. I don't know if I've ever heard of ice being actually on the ball. Yeah, it's just That's... a little – it was just, <laughs> yeah, slick. Yeah. So what's the most important lesson that you learned in Toronto that you can apply if you start on Sunday against Chicago? Yeah, I'd say um, as a whole group mentality, I think we need to find ways to be better playing away from home. That was one of the key topics this year was how can we, how can we break down the opponent, how can we control the game, um, better um, playing away game. So we'll get back to the basics, uh, stick to what we do, and uh, just keep trying to learn. Yeah. How much did the wind play a factor in trying to play build up, especially in the second half? Yeah, I mean, with high press, um, you know, you, you're forced to go longer sometimes playing in a Jamal hold-up play, so it's definitely tougher to do that. Um, but, yeah. The adjustment from the first half trying to measure with the wind at your back and in the second half where it felt like anything 20 yards was getting knocked down just how do you guys how do you think you guys did with that yeah uh second half was definitely better um they weren't as man-to-man -man in the second half so um we're as aggressive and that you know gave us more time more space to kind of play how we like to yeah when it started to connect in the second half you know were there in your mind were there adjustments or was it just Find a little bit of a rhythm. Yeah, there was more of the more of a rhythm, and um, like I said, Toronto playing more of a back four, uh, less aggressive, not straight man to man. It was gave us more time to think, more time on the ball. you have already seen a few different styles now. It's only four games, but how does that prepare y'all for if you encounter something in the first half against Chicago, maybe that y'all didn't think they were going to do? Yeah, I think all these experiences combined um, give us a good idea. Um, you know, as the guys come back, continue uh, to gel as a group and, um, you know, learn to do these things on the fly where we don't need to go into halftime and um, kind of reflect. We can do it during the game. Yeah. Okay. What was it playing without some of the guys when they're on the international break and having <clears throat> guys have to step up to the rules? Yeah. Um, obviously, a lot of quality um, gone, but it's time for the, the next guys to step up and kind of take their moment, take their opportunity and run with it. Um, obviously we didn't do, didn't get the job done, but just gotta look forward, it's still early. Just keep progressing, um, stay to the basics, what, we, what we've been doing in preseason, so.
and you said it's an emphasis to get better on the road away from home. What do you guys do? Like, how can you guys do something to kind of yeah, make, make sure that? I think in the early moments of the game, I think being aggressive, we talked about winning duels um, at halftime, and we just weren't winning duels. They were out dueling us 50 50s. They were first to them, and then <clears throat> we, we weren't connecting um, our passes if we won them. So it kind of starts with that. How did Nick do, do you think? I think he did well. Um, obviously, that's a, it's a tough role to go in there um, where Tiago plays. It's, it's congested, a lot of players, a lot of movements, and, yeah, it's a, it's a tough role. But I thought he did well. Um, there's, he had some good moments. One thing you brought to the table on Saturday was your ability defensively, mm -hmm. and it's something that is always key in preventing teams from building up and creating turnovers. How much pride do you take in being a strong defensive attacking player? Yeah, um, I think if all else fails, you rely on your ability to run and compete um, at a bare minimum. That's got to be the standard, 100%. So if you know if the attacking isn't going well, at least we can you know get behind the ball, get numbers behind the ball, defend, and it's just mentality at that point. Mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you, Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dad.